Welcome karibu sana katika mtandao wa Jurista Media. Na hapa niko ili niweze kuwaelezea yale mambo yanakuja na yale mambo yako. Sababu unabii unayachili yako kwa sababu yale mambo yako ama yale mambo yatakuja because it's something that will come. And therefore I'm here to tell you that truly the Lord will have anointed a leader and a leader that will come to deliver the people. Make sure first before we continue you subscribe like and share and may God bless you so much for you have been a royal media uh, online media service uh, watching and viewing and listening all to these uh, uh, prophecies that I release now and then as the Lord gives us now today I want to tell you I'm talking about the second uh, the fifth president of Kenya whereby I know that and I'm ready to face uh, comments that are negative and comments that are positive, but those who are in spirit will understand me. So before you comment uh, negative, kindly uh, have a, another side of thinking of why is this thing is existing this. So I list them in the matters of spirit as the Lord wants us to know so that may God bless you. And before I announce who will be the five presidents because the Lord who holds this person, I'll tell you the character, one, the, the way the Lord is speaking unto us. Uh, in First Samuel chapter number 9, that is uh, verse number 16, nitasoma, kesho wakati kama huu, nitakuletea mtu kutoka inchi ya benyamini. Na we mtie mafuta ili ya we mkuu juu ya watu wangu wa Israeli. Naye atawaokoa watu wangu na mikono kwa mikono na mikono ya Wafilisti. Maana nimewangalia watu wangu kwa sababu hii kilio chao kimenifikia. Bwana Yesu asikie. Mungu atatumana na me, atatumana kwa sababu ya Kenya. Either iwe ni Laira Amorodi, either iwe ni William Samoei Ruto ama iwe ni kiongozi mwingine kutoka mahali popote. Mungu atatutumanishia mtu ambaye ataleta ataenda kuleta wokovu kwa sababu ya watu wake wa inchi ya Kenya. Mungu ashatumana na ametuma mtu ambaye atakuja kuleta wokovu katika inchi yetu ya Kenya. Uh, wakati mwingi tunakosa kulia kulikusikia haya maneno tunasema ya kwamba ni mtu ambaye amesoma. Maandiko inatuambia kwamba huyu mtu atakuwa ni mtu ambaye ametiwa mafuta. Mungu analeta mtu ambaye atatiwa mafuta. Kwa hivyo ni mtu ambaye number 1 Mungu amemchagua ili akaweze kuwa kiongozi. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And people may not understand this. But this is the reality and the way the Lord wants us to know that God is speaking to us and Lord is speaking to his people, he's speaking to Kenya that he gonna bring the deliverance to his people. And Bethiko inatuambia ya kwamba, I have heard your cry. Ya kingereza inasema vizuri sana. Because their cry has come unto me. Kilio cha watu wa Kenya, kimefikia mungu. Kwa hivyo, yule ambaye kiongozi ambaye ataletwa, ni kiongozi ambaye mungu, atakuwa amemchagua mwenyewe. Hata kama ni mtu ambaye hakai kama anastahiri, mungu ni yeye amemchagua. Hata kama tutakuwa tu wa Kenya watamdalao, ni mungu ambaye amemchagua, ambaye atataka kujedhirisha. Na diyo manake part one, kuna mtu hapo nielewa vizuri. Labda huku nielewa vizuri ni kukumbushe siku ya leo. Ya kwamba, it is about the Lord manifestation. What the Lord want us to hear. What the Lord want us to hear. What the Lord want to be manifested. Na nikamambia kwamba, wengi wamesema raira hako na mauchali na mambo kama hayo. Wengine wakasema uhuru uh, samahani. Wakasema ruto hako na mambo mengine kama hayo. Sikatai vile ambavo munasema. Manake sina ushuhuda ya vile ambavo munasema. La, kwa sababu kuna mambo ambao ni ukweli na kuna mambo ambao ni propaganda against someone. But Lord will choose someone ambaye atadhihilisha kile mungu anataka kiedhirisha. 
Hey, di karabasha kayama. Nataka munierewe vizuri. Mungu ataachilia mtu ambaye anataka yeye adhihirishe na afanye vile yeye angetaka. Vile Mungu anataka ndivyo itakuja kufanyika. Hakuna kitu kingine. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu ata, hivyo ndivyo itakuja kufanyika. Vile Mungu anataka. The Lord has heard the cry of Kenyans. Your cry has been heard. May the Lord answer you. Oh yes. The faith president of the Kenya is just held by God. Ni Mungu ambaye amemshikilia. Whether the campaigns are going to be done. Whether money is going to be released. But what I know is that God will give us the best. Let's keep peace. Dear Kenyans, let's keep peace. Usimdharau mtu kwa sababu ni wazimio. Ah ah. Usimdharau mtu kwa sababu ni wauda. No, ama Kenya kwanza. But kubali kumchukua mtu kama brother and sister care about his or her life. Either uangalie kama anakula, anakunywa. Hayo tu. Hayo mambo mengine fuatana nayo. Utateseka bure, utaumia bure, utalia bure na utajiuliza maswali mingi ambazo hazifai. Kwa hivyo, I want to tell you that God is doing something new unto you. I release the power of the Lord to talk unto you now. May the Lord empower your hearts. May you come understand what the Lord wants us to know. The Lord has heard the cry of Kenyans. The Lord is going to hear us. Tusijiongoze. Let us not go to Kenya kwanza because this man is hard by people. Let's not go to Azimio because this man is hard by people. No. Let's go to the knees. Let's bow our knees and ask God what is supposed to be done. What is supposed to be done. And the Lord gonna do something. God bless you so much. This is Jerusalem Media. Mr.